This is the 1911 Natuno pin. Uh, Natuno is actually an Italian pin company and it's named after the god of the Roman seas called Neptune. Uh, Neptune was thought to carry a trident, which it's funny if you look at this pin, well not funny, I'm sure it was by design, but if you look at this pin you can see that the very large pin clip has, actually has three forks that um, kind of signify the trident that Neptune carried. The pin clip um, definitely is reminiscent of that. You can also see that the cap band is engraved with the word Natuno in very strong lettering and the back says Italy. You can't really see it on camera here, but um, you might see a little bit of engraving. It says 1911 Natuno and made in Italy. This is a bold, strong, stout pen. It is massive um, in every sense of the word. It's, it's quite huge and it comes in this beautiful gift box with your instructions on how to use it and it comes with its own um, little sealed Natuno ink, which is, I think, pretty cute um, for the gift box. And uh, if we take a look at the pin inside, and there's an N engraved on the um, derby of the pin, forgot to point that out. If you look inside and um, take a look at the actual um, nib or the functioning part of the pin that matters, um, it's solid 14 karat gold, and the cat band and all of the decorations are also 14 karat gold plated, um, white gold obviously. And the production number is also engraved on each one. And you can see there, well, I don't know if you can see it clearly here, but there's a, this is a fine nib. It's a, There's a little F on the side you can see. And there's also two lines that kind of run engraved around the nib and the big N for Natuno. There's no mistaking that this is a Natuno when you see it. I mean, it's just bold and massive. They put their brand everywhere on the pen and uh, definitely a little cap heavy. This pen is not for posters. Um, this cap is exceedingly heavy and uh, I wish I could give you the exact stats. They're actually on my website at bestfountainpen.com but I forgot to pull the weight before I did this video review but it is written there and you can actually see photos of this pen close up and on the scale so you can get a feel for it. If you don't post um, the cap, if you write without the cap, this is a beautiful writing pen. In fact, I loaned it to my husband just so that he could get a feel for this pen and he absolutely loved it, just the, the way it writes. The fine makes a beautiful line. Um, it's a resin finish, or it's a resin pen, and it has a sheen. Um, when you take it out in the sun, you can kind of pick it up there. When you take it out in the sun, it has a sheen that almost resembles uh, cherry wood. It's, it's really pretty. It also comes in a blue and a black version outside of this. Um, it is a bit expensive at $395 US. Um, roughly it'll retail for, so it's not a pen for everybody. Not everyone can afford it, but as a gift pen, this is just phenomenal. Just make sure that whoever you're giving it to doesn't post the cap when they write. Doesn't expect to want to write with the cap on the back because like I said, it is cap heavy, but there, there's a lot of uh, fountain pen users that don't post, so it wouldn't be a problem for them. If you'd like to see a writing sample, you can check out my website at bestfountainpen.com. There is a um, writing sample on there. If you have any questions, just let me know. Again, this is the 1911 Natuno fountain pen.